Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to the video. Okay, so I have a lot of new products. I'm really excited um, to get started here. I have some colorful eyeshadow palettes, so I think I'm going to start with my eyes. So the Mango Tango, it looks like this on the outside. And then we have a beautiful picture of kimchi. And then we have these. Now this one is all mattes. And after I received it in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, these ones might look kind of like the cotton candy palette. So I brought that over here so we could compare the swatches. And then we have the Juicy Velvet, which is all shimmers. Let's go ahead and just swatch all of them and then I'll swatch the ones that look similar to the cotton candy ones next to those shades. Here are the swatches of the Mango Tango palette. Starting at my wrist, we have hibiscus, cotton candy, apple, mango, dragon fruit, cherry, sky blue, grape jelly, and strawberry. Okay, so then we're gonna take, let me show you them side by side. We've got the BH Cosmetics Cotton Candy, the Kimchi Chic Mango Tango. These top four here are from the Cotton Candy palette. And I honestly think the only one that really looks like any of these is this one, which is Confection next to Grape Jelly. Let's see if I can put all of these on the back of my hand. That will be easier for you guys to see. Okay, we've got Raspberry Velvet. Wow, okay, these are super smooth. And that one has like a, yeah, it's like red with like a fuchsia flip to it. We have Ruby Slipper. Wow. Okay, this color is just called Sparkle. Now we have blue velvet okay this is gonna be hard are you ready wow golden glow it looks like a right up my alley kind of shade okay uh i'm gonna go this way this is gonna be the weirdest looking swatches golden glow okay first of all are you kidding and the next shade is amber Wow, look at the reflect on that. It's like a bright tangerine. Okay, this next one is called Mossy. Again, my kind of shade. Oh. Oh. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Where are we at? Right here. Look at that. Are you kidding me? That is a beautiful green. Okay, and the other, the next one is a green also, but the next one is called Deep Emerald, and it is more deep and more jewel toned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at how vibrant that is. And the very last one in this one is called Scent of Leather. Wow. Look at that. That is like a copper penny color. So there are the Juicy Velvets. I love that. Let's do something every day with these palettes because that's what's gonna be unexpected, right? Okay, let's see. Let's get all this hair back. And today I also have, this is new, is the Anastasia Eye Primer. take this ColourPop E2, just a big fluffy brush, and I am going to do a mix of strawberry and mango here. So 
I'm gonna just do this really lightly like that. This color is so pretty. Ooh, 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 okay. I love this color so much. So much. I'm going to take a little bit more of the strawberry shade. I really love the way that this looks. For foundation, I'm going to use this Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. And I have the lightest shade linen. And I don't know if maybe I would have been the next shade up because this one looks pretty golden. I'm not going to put it on the back of my hand because my back of my hand is covered in glitter now. But I'm just going to put uh, one pump onto my sponge. I don't feel like that went very far for an entire pump. And in the camera, I look quite ghostly. So I'm putting a whole other pump. And this one actually looks like it came out with some more that looks disgusting um, than the first pump. So maybe the first pump wasn't a full pump. So in a... I can't tell if it's blended out. Oh my gosh, I look so pale. Um, because I can see my sponge go down and it doesn't like just blend into the skin. You have to really work it. So I don't love that. And it's weird because it feels very thick and serum-y and it looks pretty hydrating, but it doesn't feel it. I don't know. It, feel, it feels thick. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a half a pump to do my forehead and then I feel like I have more coverage on this side so I'm going to match it on this side. So we're going to take a little of this in there and then a little on my forehead. Maybe it's just because it's too light for me. Well, too light. Look, look at how light. Even my shoulders look a little bit deeper than my face, which is weird because I'm very, very pale. It's really weird because it has like the... Yeah, look, I can see... I can see sponge marks in it. It's really weird because it's giving me like... It's... I feel like it's pretending to be a hydrating foundation, but it's not. Like, I feel like there's like powder or something in it. I feel like it's creeping in to very, 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 very fine lines. I don't know. Maybe it just needs to warm up to my skin. But uh, let's hope that gets better. All right, for concealer, I'm going to use this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I have the shade... Fair 10. Maybe this foundation is just too light and that's what I'm not liking about it. I don't know if you've ever had the experience, but I feel like whenever I use something that's too light, which is very rare because a lot of foundations and such don't go too light. Um... But whenever I use something that is too light, I usually feel like I look more dry. So maybe that's, maybe that's what's happening. All right, the next few things I'm going to use are cream products, so I'm not going to powder yet. So I have this beautiful, oh my gosh, how gorgeous is this palette from Salt, Salt New York, if you've never heard of. And I've got 
these cream products from them. So I am going to do my bronzer with that, I believe. And then I have these two very exciting products from Eloise. This Get Glowed Liquid Illuminator. And this is an Ice Queen. And then I have their Liquid Blusher in Hot Pink. How cute is that? Oh, I think it goes. It'll go. It'll go. It'll go. So I want to use... I'm going to use the liquid highlighter from Eloise first. I'm going to use my sponge. Uh, take this a little bit. This has like a dropper, but it's quite thick. So there's some on the component. So I'm just going to take that a little bit on the back of my arm. It's a really pretty soft. I'm going to keep it there, but soft pink but it's got a really nice neutral like beige kind of base looking to it so i think that would be really pretty and it dries down which is wild okay what 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 that's so beautiful wow okay 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 i don't know if you can see the difference before after Ooh. but this would be beautiful probably underneath your foundation as well and now i'm gonna take i think i'm gonna take the cooler toned shade from the salt palette and this is called contour i'm gonna take my elf 105 let me just give you a good old swatcheroo so yeah I'm going to try this BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush for the bronzer. It is a little bit more dense, but it is still quite soft and it's a little bit bigger than the last one. Sculpt in bronze in light. And the Sculpt in bronze in light medium. So I'm going to take light. What do we think of that? It's a very natural look, right? So I have another e.l.f. 105. This one I use for a blush. Okay, so this one comes, let's see, with, okay, it's like a, it has this little straight, doe foot paddle or like paddle so i'm gonna take a little smidgy on the back of my arm again so this is it in full pigment on me oh, so bright okay and then we're gonna blend out a little bit and it gives it shears out quite a lot okay i'm gonna take the elf 105 brush and just uh lightly dip into it and then go onto my arm and press it so it's into the brush and not just on the very tip. <sighs> okay. 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 Okay! It looks so pigmented. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to stop with the brush and I'm going to take my sponge 
and go over it. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 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 okay. I went overboard for sure. A little bit goes a long way if you're fair. And I don't think the color looks great. <laughs> I mean, no, the color is pretty, but with my eyes, like the color is to me, if you look at my face, well, one, my foundation is too pale right now. So it looks even brighter, but with the pale and that, it's kind of like a winter, the cool, the cold air has kissed my face kind of look. So not exactly what I'm going for today. So I'm gonna just match it on the other side. Okay, and obviously the formula is beautiful. It looks so skin-like, so lightweight, so glowy, and yet it like dries down. I think the only thing tacky on my face is the foundation. So I am gonna take my sponge because I have now contaminated this brush and I'm gonna dip into the Salt New York blush and this is the Lip and Cheek Cream Tint in Rose. And then, oh yeah. See, I mean, this is still outrageous amount of blush, but it, the tone of it is so much better and like more aligned. Mm, but see, again, I've gone in too far. Like I said, I'm still gonna powder, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of the contour on because I feel like I lost quite a bit of it in that blush fiasco. So I'm just gonna tap a little right in here. I'm gonna use this milk powder in translucent light, Wet n Wild P65 brush. So this side is powdered and this side is not. So as I said, I kept the cheeks quite dewy. I don't have any more powder on here. I'm just going over it just so you can see that. And especially like on my forehead, you can see it doesn't take away the glow. It just dampens it, you know, just a little. So we're gonna do that on the other side. It looks pretty nice for a powder, but it does, I can feel something happening, a little bit of an itchiness happening. So I don't know what is in this powder that I could be reacting to, but there is a reaction happening. And as I said, my skin is quite sensitive, so take that with a grain of salt, I guess. I still think I need a powder bronzer because I'm very much blush heavy. So I'm just gonna grab my BH Studio Pro Contour Palette and use this shade here with my e.l.f. pointed powder brush, just a little bit. I think that really grounds the blush as well and it gives it a little bit more of something than it just being like, I'm really flushed, you know? See this side? So. Okay, let's go to the lower lash line. Yes. I'm gonna take my NYX number 16 brush really quickly into the strawberry shade a little bit and just one tap into mango and go right back over this now that we have that and make sure that's blended. I'm gonna take the next number 43 
And I'm going to take just the strawberry shade because I'm curious to see how that will look uh, alone on the lower lash line. First, I'm going to take the copper color scent of leather into my inner crease just so I can get that like shade there. Okay, inner crease into my inner corner. I don't know what I'm talking about. And wrap it around a little bit. Like so. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I really love this shade. I love this shade. Okay. So now we have the color in the inner corner. And then I'm going to take the shade Sparkle, which is the brightest sparkly shade, and put that in the inner corner. Over top. Yes. <sighs> I got little, little glitters are falling. Glitters are falling. We got so far without it. Okay, I'm gonna tap it on. And I'm actually gonna wet this shade and do it again. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. This is the newest mascara that I have, and I'm loving it. I have been absolutely loving it. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Ultra Precisely Ultra Precise Brow Pencil because I feel like this look deserves some brows. Let's do the lips. I have a new lip liner from Juvia's Place. And it's kind of a warm nude color mm, like this it's called sweet nothing and then i got two of their lip shades chic and this one is like a cooler tone nude oh wow oh wow that's so creamy and here is the shade Mademoiselle, which is like a peachier nude. Here's those. Sweet Nothing Chic Mademoiselle. It's a very creamy, very pigmented. What is it? What is it called? Lux liner. It is quite lux. It's very pretty. It's creamy, but it kind of feels matte at the same time. So I'm gonna just go inwards here. And then I said I'm gonna take chic. It smells sweet. I don't know if it's like vanilla maybe. Okay, so the formula of those is, it's like matte, like it feels kind of powdery, but in the thinnest, creamiest way possible, they are movable, like I can move it around. Okay, I'm going to run through everything that I used today really quickly. So we have the Kimchi Chic Mirror, loved it. I'm going to keep this right here for me to use whenever I'm filming. Uh, the Mango Tango palette and the Juicy Velvets palette. I really enjoyed both of them. I do believe this has beautiful bright colors based on the swatches, but if you get one of these, I highly suggest this one. These are beautiful, beautiful shimmers, and that copper one is perfection. Perfection. I... Uh, I am completely obsessed with that color. Love these, highly recommend. Speaking of the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow primer, the Anastasia one, so far, so good. I It was really light and thin, which I really appreciate. Let's go with the lip combination. I'm obsessed with this. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? 
These are beautiful, but I love this shade. It's gonna be so perfect for fall. It is a great nude for me, but it is a little bit more deep than I'm normally comfortable wearing. And it's, I love it. I love it. It's like almost 90s, but this color has a bit more pink to it. So I, I, it's not as grungy, you know? And it goes with this eye so well. Love this, keeping this out to use over and over again. Love. Okay, let's go into the complexion. So I have the Becca Skin Love and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I really like the concealer so far and it's really inexpensive and it is a little bit light, but not in a terrible way, especially with this pale foundation. Um, and the foundation looks okay right now. Like it is a little bit, there's a crease right around my nose. It is gathering a little bit over this little dry patch, but I think what's really helping it is all of the cream products that I'm wearing on top of it. This is so beautiful. The Salt New York palette and all of the shades that I used, and I used basically every shade in here. It's so beautiful. I love how skin-like everything looks. Like you can see in a good way, you can see my pores. You know what I mean? Like not overwhelmingly glaringly in your face but like you can see the texture of my skin which i really like you to be able to see you know i want to look like me i don't want to look like i'm wearing a mask and i, I really really like that as well as the eloise products these were beautiful as well and these actually work really well together even though these are creams and these ones are liquids they both have a very similar like a creaminess to them and a thickness to them but they dry down very well and i used to have greasy skin so like i understand like not wanting that feeling like you have a greasy face and i don't feel like i have a greasy face right now like i feel good like it feels so good and then the milk powder <laughs> like i said it was kind of itchy it's no longer itchy so i like it but I still am not in love with it. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!